So I saw a bunch of comments about long destinations, you know, long drives. Um, I'll tell you guys how to avoid them. First way, if it's an airport pickup and you're on a ride pretty much and you don't get to see the distance because if you're not on a ride, it shows 30 minutes away or the ride is taking you 45 minutes away. But if you're on a ride, you don't get to see that because Lyft likes to send us long um, rides while we're on a ride so that way we can see that the person's going far away. A good way for them to give us these rides because most people um, in 2022, drivers are gonna cancel or decline these rides. So, because they see that the distance. So normally we're gonna get them if we're on another ride. And if we're on a streak, we're gonna just, we're gonna do the ride no matter what. Or a lot of us are gonna consider it. So what I do is if it's a pickup at the airport, then I call the person in advance and ask them if they're going a half an hour, 45 minutes away. Because I tell them that I can't drive that far because I gotta pick up my son or something. I just make up an excuse because I'm not doing that ride with gas prices being this much but then if it's a house and it's a long pickup and you're going to somebody's house what i do is i always now uh go i, I arrive about 15 seconds before i get to the house i click arrive and then if you swipe up you can actually see where they're going if they're going to a different city i just cancel i keep it moving i just drive past the house keep it moving um and i picked up on this because i had a guy who was in this complex, apartment complex, and he requested, and when I showed up, I clicked arrive, and I was waiting there for about four minutes, and he didn't come out yet, three, four minutes, so I go to swipe up to see if he was going, where he was going to see if it was worth, you know, the streak, and the guy was literally going to a city that was like 45 minutes away in the middle of nowhere, um, to where I wouldn't get a ride back. So the hour and a half driving, and I would only make like $23, $24 on it. So I said, heck no, I'm not doing that. It's freaking stupid. So I, I just pulled off and bounced. I just lost the streak. I just, I was having a bad day that day too. I just said, screw it. I'll just take the L. So then, um, prior to that, I mean, I was always accepting those long rides because, you know, I was on streaks usually. And then when I wasn't on streaks, I still accepted them because I felt bad. If people get in the car, I'm not going to tell them, hey, I can't drive you there especially after you wait 10 minutes for me to pick you up five minutes for me to pick you up uh, but now i don't have a heart when it comes to it because these people know they know already and they don't tip because if you tip you would offer a tip in advance i know me personally uh, when i'm going you know hour plus away in an uber or lyft because you know i'm going to an airport in some different city or something um, i've done that a couple times i'm gonna text the person in advance say hey i got uh, 25 dollars 30 dollars for you um, at, for a tip because I'm going this place. So these people know what they're doing. And in 2022, these rides are just not profitable. You're losing money, you're costing yourself money because you break it down. If the person's going, in my market, it's 60 cents per mile, they're going an hour away, say 50 uh, miles away, you know, just the base pay is only you know, $20. So you make $20 off the base pay, I mean off the hourly, then the base pay is only a dollar. So you make $21, literally $21 with the $6 uh, uh, per minute. So 20, $27 you walk away with on that ride. And you just drove 60 minutes, 50 miles, and you make $27. Then you gotta drive all the way back. So you're driving two hours for $27. So in reality, you're literally, and you figure gas for 50 miles um, at 20 cent per mile, um, or 22 cents per mile, um, really, but just say 20 cents per mile, um, you're at, you would take $10 in gas. So now you take $10 off the 27, that's $17, two hours of driving. Or actually take the tax off um, that you, you, you know, you got to account for and wear and tear. You're literally making four to $5 an hour. Like it's impossible. Like there's no way to make money on these rides. And you have people that take these rides because they don't know any better. They're just, you know, gullible. And then I get, I got that guy. And then after that, he requested it again. I didn't accept it, of course. And then I saw a name and it was the same same address, pickup, but different name. So now I text him or I tried to call the guy, I accepted it and I called the guy to tell him, look, nobody's gonna take this ride because you're going too far away. You gotta offer somebody a tip in advance or tell them you do it off the book because, you know, Lyft is charging you, you know, let's say 20, 
they're charging you like forty dollars we're only getting twenty two dollars twenty three dollars max and we're doing this driving and we're gonna lose the money he didn't answer the phone of course but then like i got another ride with a lady who um would not she i accepted only because she got me she put a cookout as a first stop from the bus station cookout but then she was going to jacksonville which is like an hour away after and i didn't know and i had to coach i mean i had to take my son to practice um in a couple hours chick was hot so i did it of course i mean i'm a guy but i shouldn't have done it because she should have told me she was going that far away because i was at cookout and she didn't she was trying to use cash app and in my in north carolina the city the state so basically they don't use they don't have apple pay yet so i had to use my cash app card uh, to pay for her food you know she just sent me the money back to my cash app and then we get her food and then i go to swipe to see where she was going and it said jackson i'm like dude i don't know if i could take you you know but i did it um and i came back and my son uh thank god his mom was able to take him to practice but those are the situations that Lyft puts you in because you should know in advance where the person's going. You should know that they're going that far away. And I wasn't even on another ride when I got her request. It's just because she put cookout first. It didn't look like she was going an hour plus away. So then after that one, I was more cautious. So then the final battle I had was with a guy who was at the airport. Airport, Lyft always sends me long drives from the airport. And I don't play that. Okay, especially when I'm on streets, they always send me to the airport. I could be like 20 minutes from the airport, and they'll send me an airport pickup for me to drop. 20 minutes to pick up somebody from the airport, and then going an hour and a half away. This guy was going two and a half hours away, and I, um, what I did was I called him. He didn't answer. Text him. Of course, didn't answer. I drove. I was on my last leg of streak, and it was a $21 streak. Okay, and I drive all the way to the airport, and I went to the parking area and I arrived and I saw that he was going two and a half hours away I said hell no so I waited there for four and a half minutes and when I got to about four minutes and 45 seconds I see a guy I'm pulling out the, the gate to go around to do my little ride around and then cancel um, at the arrival gate but I I pull out the um, ticketing gate of the parking lot and I see a guy running behind my car I'm like, what the heck? So I sped up and the guy was chasing my car. And I went around because I wasn't gonna lose my $21. I went around, um, but then I saw the guy was walking back over to arrival. So I figured he was gonna literally track my car down if I went over to you know, where I was supposed to be. Because he probably assumed I was going back over there. So I couldn't do it. So I went back to the parking area and I was gonna try to cancel from there. And then when I went to try to cancel, it said, you're not close enough to the pickup so i'm like oh god so then i was pulling out the gate i'm like you know i'm gonna just go and just tell the guy i can't do it and sure enough the guy ran back and the guy at the gate stopped me and said hey a guy was looking for you because he said you're his ride he would not lift up the gate for me he was just talking so the guy came over and I'm like listen man you got me i'm like i'm sorry i just can't do this ride you're going too far away gas is way too much and i was just trying to cancel i mean I'm being honest with you. I'm, you got me. So um, I don't know what to really tell you, but I'm going to just cancel. They're going to not charge you. Um, you can get another driver. But if I was you, I would like call the driver and tell him you're going two and a half hours away. So that way you can like maybe do it off the book because doing it on the book, the driver is literally going to make like $70, $80 max in this city driving you two and a half hours away. If that. And it ain't worth it. Seventy dollars, and we're gonna spend like forty dollars in gas, fifty dollars in gas, driving four hours. I'm like, you need to call the guy and tell him, and then that way, when he shows up, cancel. He gets the hundred and thirty they probably charged you, and you don't have to tip because he'll be happy with hundred and thirty dollars driving four hours. But I'm like, I'm not doing it. So I just pulled off after that. So at that point, I'm cautious. I just don't do long pickups uh, or in long drop-offs. I told people in advance, I'm not doing it. I don't have any heart for it. I don't care if you waited an hour because it's just not worth it. Like I'm literally not working for free. Um, and these people, most of these people know better, but they don't care. But once again, I appreciate everybody subscribing. Like, share, comment. Let me know if you guys have any other questions maybe I can answer. I'm out, peace.